hi uh, in this video you're going to see pasiris area so pasiris is an area which is in extremely in the end of the green line of mrt so that's the last station so we are going to go a long way from woodlands to this uh, pasiris station so currently now we are in uh, yushun so this is the north point city which is the bus interchange and opposite to it you can see uh, yushun mrt Right now our bus is uh, going to stop at this Yishun bus stop and uh, it will stay here for just few seconds to get the passengers in and it will again start the journey towards uh, Pasiris. Uh, the journey time will take about maximum of uh, one and a half hours uh, when you travel via bus and if you take uh, MRT it will take just uh, one hour. So that's what uh, the thing I want to tell about uh, Singapore's transport if you take a bus it will take a uh, long hours but if you board MRT train then it will take uh, it will cut your travel period for minimum of uh, 20 minutes so that's how fast the MRT is actually running in Singapore so currently we are right now in uh, Pasiris area so the video uh, right now you're looking at is the area which is located in Pasiris. You can see a lot of uh, homes over here, mainly the HDB home. HDB is uh, known as the, uh, it's all uh, buildings which you can get, I mean, uh, which you can get comparatively to the private buildings here in Singapore. Private buildings are actually uh, very costlier than the buildings which are constructed by the government. So wherever you go, uh, this is how uh, Singapore will be looking like. It will be more similar uh, like this. The areas will be more similar like this only. And in Pasiris area you can see a lot of uh, red buildings like this. So in this video we are going to see some of the fishing uh, areas. Actually it's a park in Pasiris. So that's what I am going to show you in this video. So bus will stop in the Pasiris bus interchange, it will be coming in a few minutes. So in this Pasiris bus interchange you can see a White Sands mall. So this is the largest mall which you can see in Pasiris area. So this is actually uh, what I am showing you right now uh, is the Pasiris MRT. So Pesiris MRT is connected to Pesiris bus interchange. So right now we are in this Pesiris town park and here is the fishing area. So that's what I am going to show you in this video. The, the park which has a fishing zone over here. Suppose if you want to go for fishing, uh, that too if you want to go for fishing within the park, then you should come for Pesiris area. This is the only area in Singapore where you can go for fishing in the park so other areas will be like you should be going and fishing in the beach but in this area there is no beach over here uh, if you want to go to beach then you should board another bus and specifically you should go to Pesiris uh, park there is a separate place over there like Pesiris park the current area is known as Pesiris town park so this is the difference between Pasiris Park and Pasiris Town Park. So in this town park, uh, this is a small fishing area which you, which is located with, within the Pasiris Park actually. There is no any kind of payments you should do to enter this area. It's totally free. If you find uh, to go free for fishing, then you can come to this area. If you consider walking in this area, better be careful because it will be quite slippery because of the water around here. So be careful when you walk over here. Unless and until you know swimming, so better to be careful with your walk over here.
there will be lot of uh, people uh, keeping their fishing rods idle uh, set to catch the fish once the fish catch the fishing rod then they will just rotate it and they will just catch the fish until then they will be setting up the fishing rods like that so if you go up the stairs then you will be ending up in going to Peseris town park so right now we are going to go down and have a look what's actually down there the time is now around the evening 4 o'clock so it's quite uh, sunny over here it will be like this till uh, evening 6.30 so starting from evening 6.30 to 7.30 only the sun will come down so till then it will be sunny like this only that's why there are many umbrellas over here uh, for people uh, to just uh, stay in the shadow and uh, do some fishing activities over here It's quite uh, deep I think, the water down here is quite deep so better not to go to the extreme in order to avoid any kind of problems. Here they got one fish and I think they got one fish, the fish what? they are again is it keeping in the water or what? So this is what all the people do, they just uh, keep the fishing rods over there. On in deep water, children must be supervised at all times. Better not to bring any kind of children over here. They will keep the fishing rods like this and they will wait for the fish to catch the fishing rod. Then they will rotate and they will catch the fish. You can see a lot of people uh, they are standing over here catching some fish. The fish which they catch is actually very very small. So this is the kind of fish they actually catch. While you are walking through you can see a lot of fishes uh, dead on the path you walk. See that's how long the fishing rod thread is actually it will go very long. In the left hand side of me, in the walking pavement, you can see a lot of uh, holders for the fishing rod. So they will keep the fishing rods in the holders and they will just uh, wait for the fish. Suppose if the fishing rod uh, seems uh, just uh, struggling like going here and there, then they will know that fish is uh, caught on the fishing rod and they will just uh, rotate the fishing rod and they will just catch the fish. So this is the thing they do by just keeping the fishing rod and the holders what you see in the end of the pavement this is a very massive area uh, I think more than uh, 50 people can catch fish at a time so right now you are looking at a fishing rod and these are the items which they use in the fishing rod to catch the fish See how long the fishing rod is going. So that's how long the fishing rod is actually. So once again thank you for watching my channel. If you do like my channel please click on the subscribe button and uh, please click on the bell icon to receive further notifications whenever I post new videos, whenever I upload new videos to my channel. And if you have any kind of doubts to be asked please uh, comment in the comment section. I am glad to help you by just replying you in the comment section. So they just throw the fishing rod thread long and they just keep it in this holder. This is what they do. Suppose uh, if the fish is caught in the fishing rod then they will rotate and catch it.
so you have seen the fishing activities here in Peseris town park and if you want to come here for fishing better to come in the evening time suppose if you come in the afternoon time it's okay but it will be too sunny for you This area is actually connected to the park. If you take the stairs and go up upwards, then you will be seeing the park. So you can go for jogging and cycling and other activities in the park. And if suppose if you go for fishing, you can come to this by coming down the stairs. You can see a lot of fish like this in the pavement. It's actually a dead fish right now. You're seeing it. You're, you're seeing it's a dish, dead fish. Yeah, yeah, 